Manuel Rivera Ortiz was born in Puerto Rico on December 23, 1968. He was born into a relatively poor family and was the oldest of ten siblings. His living conditions were that of the third world as he lived in a corrugated tin shack with dirt floors and no running water. This is probably where his inspiration came for many of his photographs. When he was 11 years old, his parents separated, which had a long-lasting effect on Manuel. His father took him to Massachusetts after the separation, and he never saw his mother again. He took classes as part of an immigration program at Springfield and Mount Holyoke Colleges. This is where he learned about photography and film development. His photographic career has been enhanced by his travel. He travels to many places that are considered third world to take photographs of humanitarian issues that are largely left out of the media, such as this picture of a Bolivian widow called Widow of the Mine. He has a quote that reads, The irony about my photography is that making these pictures constantly reminds me of my past, but life continues without regard for my own struggles growing up. It is for this reason today that I make these pictures, to lend the voice I have been given to those who, like me then, are living in poverty today. Many of his photographs are of things that he lived with while growing up, but now he has found a way to help those in ways that he wasn't. By taking these photos, he's able to bring attention to the conditions of too many people that live in poverty in these conditions today. Many of his photographs appear as if they come from a time of the Great Depression in the 1930s. He shoots them in black and white to add a dramatic effect. This photo, titled Cuba Harvest, was taken in 2002. His photos focus on people rather than scenery, but they combine in his photos to create a strong image. Cuba Harvest, as most of his photos appear, appears almost candid, taken in the middle of a workday. Here, you can see the subject of the farmer and his family working in the fields, the scenery in the background, creating the effect that they have nothing better to live for. Reflected in his mission, many of his galleries are titled after the countries he has photographed. First, we have Bolivia. This image is of a Bolivian family standing on a street side. Taken in black and white, the subject of the family draws your attention to the center of the picture. Once again, the background, which isn't the focus of the picture, ties the picture together. The wall is covered in graffiti and the shadows cast an effect that hints at the end of the day, but there is still no father or husband image in the picture, hinting that he is still hard at work trying to earn the day's wage. This photo is also from his Bolivia trip. It reflects the conditions that Manuel may have grown up in. The street corner, if you could call it that, is dirt road. The wall is covered in graffiti, and the family is dressed in typical South American clothing. Similar to the previous picture, there is no male figure in this picture. This hints that he's probably still working hard in the copper mines that Bolivia bases its economy off of. This image is powerful due to the subject of the family, but I think that it is a good photograph because of how he set it up. It is most certainly a significant photograph and to the attention of many people because of how he set it up. This family was photographed in front of a blank wall or a wall with a little bit of graffiti and no corner would have been a much more boring picture and probably wouldn't have captured many people's attention. But because he photographed it at the corner of this street with the dirt road in view and the rest of the town, or at least a little bit of it in the background, really draws this picture and merely compares it to what Manuel may have grown up in. It also shows why Manuel may have chose this country in particular to photograph. Manuel's pictures are presented to the public in exhibitions. They can be either solo exhibitions or with other photographers. He presents them all across the Americas and Europe. He's also featured as part of the permanent collection in George Eastman's House International Museum of Photography and Film. He tries to show his pictures to the world because, as he feels, and it's hard to disagree with after seeing his pictures, without his or other people's efforts to show the poor and impoverished parts of the world, so many people living in the first world where his photos are shown may never know what he grew up in and how many people have to live like that and never get the opportunity to leave. Manuel Rivera Ortiz makes it his mission as a photographer to alert the world of issues in impoverished nations. His picture reads, Be aware of our human rights, National Tribunal for the Women of Rights of Economy, Social, and Cultural. 
This picture sums up his goals as he captures images to raise awareness for the violation of human rights.